Welcome family and friends to experience for a purpose. Psalms 37, 7 through 8. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. In society today and life, it comes with anxiety and worryation. Whether it comes from personal issues, health issues, family concerns, or financial concerns. They are most common everyday concerns. Anxiety is a condition that pulls us and our moods in multiple directions. The results is your emotional state. It becomes distress. And then when it becomes distress, it starts controlling your thoughts and your emotions. And that can tend to get out of hand if you don't control it. But our Heavenly Father says, rest in Him and wait patiently for Him. For that He knows the variations and anxieties that's upon you at any time. And if you wait and give it to Him, He promises that he's going to alleviate and give you a solution to that worry. He may not come as fast as you want him to come now. But Psalms 37 says, 7 and 8 says, Rest in the Lord. Wait patiently for him. And I ask that you wait for him. Let's list five common causes of anxiety and indulge a little bit into it. The first one is feeling of inadequacy. Problems can cause us to feel insignificant and capable of solving the problem. Like you don't, you can't come up with a solution to solve it. Jesus reminds us of the birds that fly around us each and every day. You know that those, those birds that's flying are totally inadequate to care for themselves. But guess who supplies them? He'll do the same for us. Those birds, think about it, think about it now. Those birds that fly around us so freely doesn't have a home. They don't take thought for how they're going to eat or how they're going to fly. Who supplies that for them? Now, if he do it for the birds, what will he do for me? and you. Secondly, trying to attempt to change a situation that's beyond your control. Now I can I can attest to that. Sometimes instead of trusting him and resting in him, when you start trying to manipulate that situation or change that situation to make you feel good, it can turn out to be worse than what it was or your feelings start to get worse than what they were prior to you doing it. Whenever we encounter a situation we cannot change, the best option is to turn it over to God. And He'll give you the rest that you desire. Don't display unbelief by multiple inconsistencies of your pain. When I say don't display multiple intensity, don't keep putting so much focus on it. Focus beyond it. Think in your mind, when God takes this situation and give me that peace that I'm seeking out of it, because with worrying, you want a solution. But when he give you peace, that work, that problem is still there, but it's not as heavy on you. You can't, for example, you can't say, I'm going to do this here and hope that it's going to give me the outcome that it, do it and just think that that outcome is going to be what you got in your mind. And when God is already in the midst of it, he'll flip it so that you'll see, I shouldn't have did that. I should have just waited on him. And he do it in a gentle way. But it be in a way that it tugs at your heart that you know you should have just waited on him. Okay. Number three. When we do it, it shows our failure to trust God. Our, trust God with our needs. Jesus desires for us not to worry. Did he not clothe the lilies in the field? Sometimes it may look hard 
it, sometimes it may look like the Lord has let you down. But truth it, truthfully is, he hasn't. Number four, misplaced priorities. Jesus tell us to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all shall be added unto you. When we make it a top priority, a top priority to acknowledge him as our Lord and Savior, he promised to supply whatever we need. Which brings me to number five, trying to live for tomorrow. How many of you all can put in the comments, I've tried to live for tomorrow? I can. I started off with the chat. I've tried to live for tomorrow when the word says, take no thought for what ye shall eat or put on for and let tomorrow take care of itself. For if we're here or not, tomorrow is still going to come. The outcome of it isn't promised, but we know for sure it's going to come. It's nothing wrong with planning ahead, don't get me wrong. Many times it overlooks, it overlaps the calendar. Jesus says, don't worry about tomorrow. It will take care of itself. Each day has enough troubles of its own. Wake up each day with your, with your thoughts on the Lord. Continue to do whatever he says we go throughout the day with his peace. To anyone that may be suffering with anxiety and worry, remember Psalms 37, 7 through 8. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Thank you for listening and watching from experience for a purpose. May God blessings and riches be with you and your family. Before you go, give me a thumbs up, a, a comment, and I assure you that I will respond back to you. May God bless you. Thank you.